Oh, there you are, YouTube. Doo 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 doo. Subscribe if you're interested, but also no pressure. Hey, today I went to the library sale. The library sale. Sometimes I get some amazing stuff there. Basically, uh, my local library. I'm gonna pull these keys out of my pocket. Uh, my local library. They will. They have like this area where they sell old books and old movies a lot of them are donated like um, you know after people pass away they'll they'll give them the the movies and books and then they turn around and sell them uh, sometimes it's old uh, stuff that they don't no longer need on the shelves anymore so they sell them uh, to get rid of them um, and yeah sometimes I've had some great success there sometimes I haven't but today uh, some pretty cool s things um, and both sealed, which is awesome. So I'm excited to show you those. One of them, though, seems a little poss possibly damaged, sealed and damaged within. And I think you probably know what I'm talking about. I'm sure some of you have experienced this before. You've seen it at stores and things like this. But this is a Criterion film, one that I sort of thought I had, but I guess I don't. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, I... I don't have this. I don't have it. Um, and I'm surprised because it's been out forever. And I, I swear I bought it once from uh, the, the pawn shop that my buddy used to work at for like a nickel. But I guess I didn't. I don't have it in the collection. And that is, can you hear it? Hear it rattling? It's a sealed copy of Chasing Amy, but... The disc is rolling around in there, so it could very well be scratched. Look at the way I'm dressed, and look at this. Black and white. Black and white over here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> the beard, black and white. <laughs> uh, uh. Um, but, oh, look. Little 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 beast and stay puffed right there, hanging out, keeping it real. Um, but, yeah, I, I always liked this movie. Uh, one of Kevin Smith's more, I don't know, you know, like the early days when he's heavily lauded and everything. Uh, you have Clerks and this and, um, you know, I, I feel like those are the ones that everybody um, had the most critical acclaim of everything that he had. And this so much so that they added it to the Criterion Collection. Though I do believe this was the time when they were adding uh, a lot of more populist films. As you know, uh, RoboCop, I mean, RoboCop Cop deserves to be there. Um, the Rock, I mean, The Rock deserves to be there, and Armageddon, I mean, Armageddon deserves to be there. So, uh, you, you know what I mean. It's not, I'm, I'm not saying they don't deserve to be there. It's just, um, uh, it's not the, really the type of film that they're going to put out there today. Though I could see them uh, updating this one and bringing it back. Armageddon, though, has the director's cut, and I don't like it as much as the theatrical. But anyway, I think we need to get inside this. That sounds like a joke from Chasing Amy. Um, to see how damaged it is. Let's take a look. I wonder how old this is. Like when was this printed? Oh dang, this is Canadian. Why does it only say it in English? Where's the French? Shouldn't this all be in French also? Hmm. Isn't that the law in Canada? If it's written in English, it needs to be also written in French. I don't see that here. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but look at that. Can Canadian rating right there. Um, 18A. I don't know what that means. But I still believe Canada is Region A for movies and such. But yeah, here we go. It's rattling. It's rattling. This isn't the only thing I got, by the way. There's more to come. Okay, it's loose in there. Loose. Ah, pristine condition. The pristine condition. The condition is pristine. Look at it. Look at that popcorn ceiling reflecting off of it. All right, that is great news. So I bought a new Criterion today. Hello. That's very exciting. And this next one is a box set. Hello, a sealed box set. Uh, this cost me 25 cents, by the way. 25 cent film. 25 cent Criterion sealed new. That's pretty great. Okay, this is a box set. It's an original issue, it says. There's a sticker that says original issue. Hmm. 
Um, I didn't I haven't looked up what it would go for, but I got it for six bucks, and maybe I overpaid. Maybe I overpaid, but it's never been open. Maybe we'll open it today. I wouldn't mind doing that. And that is something, um, this is something that I've never seen before. Like, I've never seen the contents of it, but I have seen the box. Because, one time, story time, story time. Um, back in college, I went to my buddy's place, spent the night up there, I believe. We're probably going to a rock show, probably AFI or Rise Against or something like that. I don't know, who else did we see up there? Um, was that it? Was that the only shows I went to up up there with him? I think so. Um, but anyway, we were probably up there and it like aligned with his dad's birthday or maybe we were there for his dad's birthday. I don't know. And his parents are great. They love them to death. They are amazing. And f for his father, um, they got him, I don't know if he got it for him or his wife got it for him or, or, or what, but, um, Either my friend or my friend's mom got this for the dad. And that is I, Claudius. And I was always curious about it because he was very excited to have it. And I've never heard of, had never heard of it before. And he had all these great stories about it that he was telling. And I guess this is like a BBC production. It's one of the greatest BBC productions ever made or something like that. Yeah, most acclaimed production in BBC history. BBC One. And I don't know anything about it. Uh, but he was telling me about it, you know, and like how cool it was. And I remember every time after that, that I went to uh, my friend's house and I would look in their movie case to see um, this. And I just always look at it because I just kind of loved this image right here. And I just found it so interesting. But over time, this was, you know, many years ago, back when I was in college, back when I was in undergrad. So this was sometime between 2002 and 2006 um, that I saw him get this as a gift so I don't remember a lot of the stories he was telling but I do remember him pointing out that Patrick Stewart was in it and that was very exciting because I love Patrick Stewart from from Next Gen I love him from X-Men you know Patrick Stewart's just great he's great and he's in this a lot of cool people are in this like Derek Jacoby and Derek spells Derek the correct way um, we also have people like uh, John Hurt as Caligula uh, we also have uh, Patrick Stewart, and uh, I thought there was another name in there that I recognized. There are probably other names that everyone else would recognize, but I don't know. I, I'm not sure who these people are. But actually, this is funny, because I was just thinking about this movie recently. I was at, I was at Disc Replay, and I saw Caligula, uh, like a box set version of it, really big box set. And then I was like, oh, there, and I didn't like read it. I was just like at a glance, I was like, oh, there's that thing that my friend's dad got for his birthday or whatever. And it wasn't that, it was Caligula. And I didn't know what Caligula was about. Um, and then it was funny because that popped into my head just like a couple weeks ago, whenever I had my disc replay video out. And then I go to the library today and they had this, which was just so serendipitously weird and strange that this showed up maybe a couple weeks after I was just thinking about it and I hadn't thought about it in a long time. So let's read this together because I'm curious. It says, I, Claudius, it may well be the finest, the most gripping miniseries to date in the distinguished masterpiece theater collection, says the Boston Herald. So I didn't use a Boston accent there. Okay. It says, I, Claudius, ranks above... Nope, sorry. Let me start over. I just started adding words. I, Claudius, ranks among the best acclaimed productions in BBC history, tracing the lives of several Roman emperors. Ooh. It's an epic of ruthless ambition, shocking debauchery, and murderous intrigue. Set in one of history's most fascinating eras, bearing witness to the saga is Claudius, whose stutter and limp have marked him a fool, yet whom prophecies have foretold will one may... what? Who have foretold will one day rule Rome. Uh, also included in is a unique documentary feature, <laughs> The Epic That Never Was, a remarkable behind-the-scenes look at Alexander Korda's ill-fated 1937 screen adaptation of I, Claudius, starring Merle Oberon and Charles Lofton, and narrated by Dirk Bogard. The chronicle of this uncompleted masterpiece is an unforgettable coda to the one of the greatest stories ever told. <laughs> 
Yeah, so check it out. Six bucks, everybody. Six bucks. And we have 669 minutes of footage right here. Check it out. Look at that. There's a little snake there. Um, got an image there. Tough to see because it has this like magnetic band here. Here's the sides right there. Yeah. I don't know. I think this is pretty cool. I don't know if we'll unbox this today. Maybe on another day. Maybe a video completely dedicated to this. Because this is kind of just the library haul video. But maybe I'll look into that. And oh, just drop chasing Amy. Oh, okay. Oh. All right, so I think, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll probably pop some of these in to the old player over there when I'm painting or something. Um, I don't know, or do I want to have my eyes on it? I don't, am I watching a play? It almost seems like it's a play. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, I'm excited about it because it's something that I've had etched into my brain for a long time, ever since my friend's dad was gifted it for his birthday or Father's Day or something like that. And... I now have it and I can look at it because I've always been intrigued by it and every time I would go back I'd always look at it like oh look at this cool box I love a box set and then I also have a new Criterion in the collection so very excited about that and I just can't believe I didn't have it I thought I had it but I don't uh, so anyway have you seen these are you familiar with Chasing Amy this is a Kevin Smith film Oh, they had a bunch of Kevin Smith there stuff there. Also, they had like all those like an evening with Kevin Smith things. They had them all. Um, I didn't grab them because I think I've seen most of those clips on YouTube. So it didn't make sense. I mean, only a quarter maybe, but I don't know. if I, I don't picture myself ever going to look at them. But anyway, I thought that was cool. Um, and my other question is, are you familiar with this? Have you seen it? Is it great? Is it as awesome as the way my friend's father described it. I just love this two-point perspective view of a box set. Love it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. What have you gotten at your local library? And perhaps we'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.